So, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Um, it is Tuesday, which is matriculation day, um, so I'm officially becoming a member of the uni today, which is very exciting. Uni life has already started because I'm not eating right. I'm just not eating, actually. Um, and I'm also not sleeping enough. So, um, I'm already a university student, I think. I'm also late, which is not, like, a specifically university thing, because I'm always late, but... I really need to go. Also, if you're my mum watching this, I'm sleeping eight hours a night and I'm eating a well-balanced diet and getting all of my proteins and nutrients. You are fake news. Hi guys, so we're at the boat club. She's officially a- I'm, I'm officially doing rowing. She's officially a rower now. But this is Lady Margaret Boat Club, which is the boat club for Johns. I've not signed up because I'm here for free. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's my day. So I've just finished my reading um, for my supervision on Thursday. Um, but today is my matriculation, as I mentioned before. Um, it's looking lovely outside. I don't know if you can see this. It's just like absolutely pouring it down, which is great. because I'm pretty sure we're outside for matriculation, which is lovely. I think I'm going to start getting ready for matriculation because I need to iron my shirt. I have to wear a full suit. Um, and a gown, which is really exciting. That's one of like the fun Cambridge Oxford things. You wear a gown a lot. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys once I'm ready. Yeah. Matriculation. So we took a photo, um, I'm with Ben, we're on the way to the chapel. Yes, I did cry during the chapel service. It's just a very intense environment and the choir is very pretty. It was oh, bit check. Check. I need to change my shoes. I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm gonna get you cold. I don't know what shoes to wear. <laughs> well, yeah. Anyway, we're going to a gay night if you're not going to Feeling very gay. <laughs> I'm walking back to Crips, which is where I live, um, in Johns. And if you're queer in Cambridge, go to Glitterbomb. Glitterbomb is a night every Tuesday uh, at Vinyl, which is a club in Cambridge. I highly recommend going to it if you're queer. It's a very, it's an inclusive space, obviously, because that's what it's for. It's, it's a queer night. And everyone is just happy to be there and be queer. And that's really nice. And that, that's why I want to talk about it, because I made this channel to talk about being queer at Cambridge. And there are just queer people being queer. Um, and it's really nice. It reminds you that there is a space for queer people anywhere you go. Any city, any country, wherever you are, there is a space for queer people. Because we exist and so we need a space. Good morning, everybody. Um, it is Wednesday. Um, I'm just on my way to meet my DOS, uh, my Director of Studies, which is basically the person in charge of my course at my college. I have my matriculation dinner tonight, and I think I'm going to head over to the Society Fair at some point, because um, I want to sign up to some societies. I also want to join a sports thing, because I'm not really a sports person, but I want to try it, because I think if it's a, like a fun sport, I think I could vibe with it. So today on Oliver and Sarah adventure around looking for free food, we found ourselves another barbecue. Literally, we found ourselves another barbecue. Another sports barbecue <laughs> as well. Yeah, check us. So we're at the yeah we're at the sports barbecue. We're gonna get free food. But I think I might actually sign up for something. Ultimate frisbee. Ultimate frisbee probably. So I've just come back from the society's fair. Um, picked up a bunch of leaflets. Um, put my name down for a bunch of stuff. Very impulsively signed up for netball. Uh, I'm not a sports person, but it looks really fun. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna try out some new stuff. There's a feminist society. That's not new. Um, I've been a feminist for a while. We're all dressed up again. Um, it's matriculation dinner. 
I forgot my trick that yesterday, but our dinner is today. So I'm out again. I should be at home working, but I'm not. So my plan was to have a very chill evening and then just go to bed. But my first supervision is in less than six hours because I failed to have a chill night where I just went to bed. But it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're fine, it's fine. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So we're on our way. I mean, to be fair, it's literally right outside my flat, <laughs> which is good. My supervisor caught me vlogging right here. Embarrassing. So, uh, did a supervision, ignore my hair, it looks gross. Did a supervision, going out last night was an interesting choice because uh, my brain was not working at the pace it needs to through a supo. But I'm about to go into a lecture. We're just trying to find where that is. But I'll update you guys afterwards. Queen's Tings. Um, we're taking a tour of the college. So, lecture number one is completed. Um, it was just an intro to phonetics and phonology. Um, a lot of information um, at once, but it was fine. Once I got into it, like, we're all good. But I'm just heading back to college now because I have some super work to do. And I'm not going out because I feel like death. <laughs> Freshers is finally catching up with me. So we're doing a face mask. Um, I succeeded in not going out tonight, which I'm quite proud of myself for. I uh, officially handed in my first piece of supervision work, um, which is scary, but um, did that. I've been drinking water, I made myself a meal, um, so self-care starts today. I don't think people really talk about the fact that during freshers, there's so many events going on that if you don't remember to do like basic self-care, you just won't. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I was just caught up in the moment, but... Um, I'm, I'm gonna start taking care of myself now, so I'm actually gonna go to bed, get a good night's sleep. Cut to me editing this video at 1am the night before our 9am supervision. And then get up to do a bunch of stuff tomorrow. Good morning everyone, um, it is Friday, it's second day of term. I don't have any lectures or any supos today, um, which is great, but I do have some work to get done. I also need to go shopping today because the only food that I have in the flat is bread and beans. And I don't think I'm getting a very balanced diet from that. So I'm gonna go shopping later, but for now, I'm gonna do some super work. For anyone who doesn't know, um, a supo is short for supervision. Um, and it's a thing we have at Cambridge where you meet in a small group um, of like a couple students with a um, academic and you kind of discuss what you've been learning in lectures and um, you have like little group decisions and work. Uh, I mean, I've only done one so far, so I don't really know too much about the exact setup, but um, you do get set work for them. Um, and then you have to hand it in and it'll get marked. And that's like really where you're getting all the bulk of your feedback from. Um, so they are really, really useful. So I'm off to Aldi. Um, I don't know where it is, but um, Google Maps is my best friend at the minute. So we're hanging out all the time. Um, so I'm going to try and find Aldi and actually buy some shopping so I actually have food to eat and I don't have to keep going to the buttery. Oh, yellow car, cheese and wheels. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know when I get there. There are squirrels literally everywhere. I have never seen so many squirrels up close until I came here. I've seen like, they're always just like running around. Oh, I love squirrels. <laughs> so I christened the new flat with a cheese and bean toasty. I have a toasty maker over there. Um, I love cheese and bean toasties and I haven't had one in so long, so I was like, I'm gonna have to make one. Um, so officially first toasty in the new flat. Very exciting. So girlies, um, Link Sock of the Linguistic Society uh, at St. John's are having a little social get together and that's where I'm going now. Literally right outside my accommodation. So glad that I live here. 
So let's go meet some linguists. That was fun. Um, so Ling Sok is the linguistics site at St. John's. Um, and like all of the linguistics undergrads, um, actually I think all of the linguistics students in general are like automatically entered into it. I just got to meet um, some of the people and they're all really lovely. Um, they all actually like linguistics, which is fun because most people just don't even know what it is. <laughs> but um, I'm on my way to the buttery now to get some food. And then I'm going to Femsoc uh, Social, which is the feminist society at St. John's, um, which is super exciting. So I'm gonna go meet some feminists. Say hi, girlies. Oh, wait. <laughs> um, I just had food. Yeah, that was, that's it. That's, that's literally it. I don't have anything to say. You guys have anything to say? No? Okay. Um, all of us might come to Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Wait, guys, I just met a fan. Hi, girlies. Um, so they were selling ant tickets today, and we got there like 40 minutes early so we could get them, but we all got one. We got all right, I got two, but. Hi. I didn't really explain myself very well in that last clip, but uh, basically, an ant is like an event organized by the JCR um, or the Junior Combination Room. Um, and we tried to get tickets yesterday, but they sold out within like five minutes. <laughs> so we had to go back today and get them, and we got there 40 minutes early to make sure we got one. A lot of things to do today. I have my first netball uh, training, which is very exciting. I've never played netball in my life, um, so this, this should be interesting. Hi, we just went to mix netball. I did boring child this morning, hence the post-workout glow. Andrew is literally like a professional netball. <laughs> it was you were so good. I tried really hard. I yeah. try my best. Mm -hmm. um, and now we're gonna have, I'm gonna have a lentil and hummus um, pitta. And I'm gonna watch him eat the lentil and hummus <laughs> you can pitta. You want. For context, I had already eaten before we went to netball. I had a cheese sandwich. So, just picked up a parcel because there were some things I left at home that I forgot I needed. So, my mum just sent me this. Um, and now I'm gonna head, drop this at the flat, and grab some stuff. And then we went to the library, I think. I've not been to the library yet. I did a quick little all around on the open day but i've not been in there and worked and i have some work to do and i'm feeling very motivated after netball which makes me feel like i want to work out more and um, also look how cute this place is this uni is honestly like the prettiest john's is the prettiest i'll take no criticisms so i just finished my little study sesh in the library um it was kind of productive, but kind of wasn't. I have to translate an old English text, but I haven't had an LA4 uh, lecture yet. So I have no idea what's going on. I'm so excited to be back studying again. <laughs> the naivety is outstanding right here. <laughs> like, I haven't done it in like four months because I've been off college. I'm just heading back now. I'm gonna make myself some food. Uh, gonna fill out my diary um, with all my deadlines and stuff. And then I have an end to go to, which is super exciting. Okay, so 90s themed end. What do we think? I mean, I know the feelers are not 90s themed, but the hat I love, but it's big and like furry, so it might be a bit warm, but. I think I understood the assignment, if I'm honest. So, it's officially been a week since I arrived in Cambridge, um, which is very exciting. Um, it's going well, it's going really well. No on Cambridge nightlife. Everyone always says it's it's bad. Everyone's always like, it's like, like you know, Cambridge nightlife is not bad. And coming from a big city with a lot of nightlife, it's definitely different. There's only like four clubs, so there's less choice, and they're not as like constantly packed. That being said, Cambridge Nightlife Night Life is what you make it. I know people who have gone out every single night since they arrived, and the like standard like bedtime is like 4 a.m. Um, it's it's good, like it's a good nightlife if you go with the right people, and the same goes for ants or, or bops, depending on what college you're at. Um, which are like little, kind of like school discos <laughs> organized by the JCR. If you go to those with a good group of people, they're amazing. Like the one we did last night was really, really good um, because it really is what you make it. I was really worried, like I was going to be really bored and hate it, but it's actually really good. It's really good um, as long as you come in with an open mind and good vibes. I think I'm going to end this video here. 
Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I'm going to keep making these videos. So if you want to see more, um, or if you want to see stuff about studying in general, um, hit subscribe. Also, uh, I will put a link in the description to my website, which is where I post a bunch of poetry and prose and just like, writing. Um, so if you want to read that, you can read that as well. Um, but yeah, bye. <laughs>